Your spirits get out from here. I put the spears of fire inside to pull you out. And the sword of fire to separate you in the name of Jesus. I say sword of fire separate all things which are in them and put them aside in the name of Jesus Christ. You can see that bamboo has fallen. Now people, it's like they were sleeping. Now they are waking up. You come and receive. If you feel that really when you want to come next to me, there is something which says, go back. That thing must be kicked out from you. It's not the real you. Now people are having fear. I can read the fear. When they are looking at him, they say, hey, we don't know what to do here. <laughs> this is the day of your restoration. Praise the Lord. As we continue, know that is the time to partner with the Lord Jesus Christ and with the people who are in the truth. As we have heard that this ministry is global, is touching the whole world. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is the time that we as partners, we have to stand up with our salaries, with our businesses, with everything that will make and support this ministry. And you can see right here when Christ is demonstrating his power, when the demons are being arrested. Hey! The others are shaking now. Supporting the work of Jesus is more powerful. Hey. Spirits! This is not your place. Yes, you are arrested yes, by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Today you leave all your things. All your success. All your riches. Leave them now. In the name of Jesus. I separate you from her. By the sword of fire. Get out. What a deliverance. What a restoration. Ah, they cannot stand now. Okay. And you will remember that we were supporting certain things which have been exposed here. Paying a lot of money there. Now is the time that we must stand and support the ministry which is touching the whole world only in the truth. And you can see that the Spirit doesn't want these forms. So this is the time. So all of you who are here, you are going to receive more prayers. So that even though when the spirits are angry with you, they will never do anything to you in the name of Jesus Christ. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the soon coming Jesus. Amen. I'm going to give you a word of comfort. Welcoming you as partners in the WRS ministry. I'm reading from Nehemiah chapter 4. Verse 1 says, When Sanballat heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews and in the presence of his associates and the army of Samaria, he said, what are those feeble Jews doing? Will they restore their war? Will they offer sacrifice? Will they finish in a day? 
other spirits are arrested. When now they are bringing the form. Hey. Jesus. Hey. You are arrested. You must live. Come out from here. Come out from all your things. I say in the name of Jesus. You are blocking your success. Today you are arrested. By Jesus Christ. Who is alive. Get out. You live here. I separate you from here by the sword of fire in the name of Jesus. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Hey. Clap hands for Jesus. Oh, Papa, oh, tell yes. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What was happening in your finances? Tell your neighbor and say the importance of giving and supporting the work of Jesus. Jesus Christ is doing deliverance by himself. Wealth and riches belong to Jesus. And when you give, you release your blessings. You release your success. You release your prosperity. And especially when you give to this kind of ministry, world restoration service for world peace by Jesus Christ. Verse 6 of Nehemiah chapter 4 says, So we rebuild the wall till all of it reached half its height. For the people worked with all their heart. The Bible here says, The people worked with all their heart. The other version says, the people had the mind to work. You and I are challenged this afternoon to give and to have the heart for the work of Jesus Christ and to work with all our hearts to have the mind to work. In so doing, all your possessions will be blessed. All your riches will be blessed, will be secured in the name of Jesus. We glorify the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just to add on what the brethren have said, as a way of encouraging us, when we go to the book of Haggai, the word of God says, from, I'll read from verse 4. Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses and this temple to lie in ruins? Now, therefore, that says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in living. other spirits are arrested. Yeah, me, 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 Jesus Christ. Say darkness is falling. Darkness will never rule this world again. Darkness will never rule the finances again. When people are working together with Jesus Christ. I say, in the name of Jesus, you come out, you live here. Ah, you are arrested today. You were blocking here, but Jesus Christ has arrested you. Hey. 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 I say, in the name of Jesus, you don't have authority in your life. You don't have authority in your blessings. Jesus Christ today is blessing you. 
and I separate you by like the ar- sword of fire from her. You get out and leave her and leave all the things in Jesus' name. Clap hands for Jesus Christ. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The word goes on to say you have sown much and bring in little. You eat but do not have enough. You drink but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. That says the Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. God says go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified. So here we are in the ministry of world restoration service that responds command of God to go to the ends of the earth and take his way there. Now God says you cannot leave my house in ruins when you are busy going around doing your own things, building your own house. That is why people are working so hard, but they have nothing to show at the end of it all. They put their earnings in the bags that are full of holes. So in partnering with WRS, it is an opportunity to also restore our financial situation our health everything that we do in life it is always good to have a sense of belonging I'm sure most of us when we see Pastor Irene in the desert where you drive 400 kilometers at 20 kilometers per hour 100 kilometers come 20 kilometers per hour in a sand where you cannot make a mistake and turn left or right. Where there is a problem if there's a car coming on the opposite direction. But she has to go there because the word of God has to reach those people. So children of God, and what is happening here with this manifestation that we see here? It's Proof that darkness has got a problem with the advancement of the kingdom. When you come here to take partnership with WRS, it's bad news for darkness. It's bad news for darkness. So the word says, go. Make disciples of all the nations. Somebody has to go there. This ministry has to reach those people. Resources are necessary. This ministry is here not to make money but it's for the purpose of winning souls for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The ministry is here for the souls. But in the process, we need resources. So let us be proud of this ministry. That we are part of this ministry. That our money is reaching out to souls. Where no one else would have reached them. When I looked at the situation in Kautuan. And when the pastor was relating to us what she was going through there. It is very clear no one would have gone there. WRS had to go there. So children of God. Let's do this wholeheartedly. Let's pray that our hearts are in the right place and it is our ministry we belong to this ministry when we see souls coming back to Jesus we can also testify that we are part of this big mission hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. 
I'm speaking to all of us, even those that are sitting there. Think about it as you go home. Think about the ministry of WRS. Think about Jesus. His greatest wish is that people must come back home. Souls must come back home. Let Let us do it, children of God. Let us be partners. Let your money be your seed that will speak on your behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give Jesus a hand of praise. Let's give Jesus a hand of praise. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. In the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 14. Apostle Paul says, I am a debtor both to Greeks and to non-Greeks. Both to the wise and the foolish. Hallelujah. Amen. He's telling us that the gospel is our creditor. And we are debtors. And you know, as a debtor, your obligation. As a debtor, you pay your account. And when you pay your account, you are reducing the debt. And when the debt is being reduced, your facility gets closed. Now, this is what I want to say to you. You are also a debtor to win others for your credit. The gospel of Jesus Christ. So when we encourage you to partner, know that as a debtor, your partnership Helps to win the souls of the lost. Hallelujah. Amen. When we read through to the book of Deuteronomy 8, 18, it reads as follows, But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant which he saw to your ancestors as it is today. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to encourage you to say you must go back to the book of Genesis and read about your father Abraham, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, for you to see the power in the scripture. That the power is in the blessing of Abraham. No wonder in the book of Galatians chapter 3, it says you are blessed with believing Abraham. Abraham. What are we saying? We're saying the Lord is faithful. He's faithful in that when you support his work, he promises you hundredfold. That's why we're saying go back and revise in the book of Genesis for you to see the hundredfold that we're talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you support this ministry, you partner with this ministry, you can make your pledge to this ministry and pledge an amount that you want to ministry and you support with it for the whole year. Or even make a vow to this ministry and say, Lord, I want to support with so much on top of a partnership. And the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we talk of the hundredfold, 
If you take say the receipts of the amount of money you have been contributing to the ministry. Say for the past 5 years. And multiply that by 100. What you multiply 100. If it's 100 rand you multiply the 100 rand by 100. That is the 100 folds which the Lord has promised. For those who support this work from the heart. So when you support from the heart, there's a hundredfold promise from the Lord. Because he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And he has given us great and precious promises in his word. And I tell you, the Lord is not a man that he can lie. Try him. And you will see his what blessings falling on you and your finances. Hallelujah. Amen. So we encourage each one of you to partner with this or ministry. The fertile soil of this ministry. This ministry, as you have, is the only ministry which I know which reaches even in the Kalahari Desert, touching the heart of Jesus Christ. Touching the heart of Jesus Christ. And when you are a partner, it means you are also sending them there. You are a part. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. You are blessed with believing Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. And everything you need to produce this wealth is inside you. It's inside you, not on the outside, inside you. So read through the book of Genesis and see what happened. When it was dry, Isaac received hundredfold. this is the promise that we have. When we support the ministry from the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. May the good word be glorified. Hallelujah. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Yes, you are. You are holy. Yes, you are.